Well, bad weather has forced the postponement of the first commercial rocket launch from Whalers Way in South Australia. The launch window is still open, though, until September the 23rd. Joining me now live is astrophysicist and cosmologist at ANU, Brad Tucker. Brad, how disappointing is this? Always one of these issues, right? Whether uh, you, you, especially when you're trying to do a test flight from a new site, uh, you know, you kind of want all of the weather to be on your side. So they had two days of high winds, uh, which meant that they couldn't launch. Obviously, a disappointment to the rocket company Thai Space as well as Southern Launch uh, in South Australia. But as you said, the window is still open for a little over another week. Uh, so they're working with the Australian Space Agency to get another launch date in there. So it will happen. We just have to wait a little bit more for what will be an important milestone in Australia, and that is, as you said, the first commercial launch of a rocket from Australia. Absolutely, and also uh, very exciting for South Australia in, in general as well, Brad. Uh, but also, very exciting, SpaceX's first private mission is getting ready for a flight this week. Who's going to be on it? Yeah, you know, we, we saw uh, in July, we saw Richard Branson go up um, with some of his uh, colleagues from Virgin Galactic. We saw Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos. Well, Inspiration4 has been this mission with SpaceX gearing up for a launch. Now, there's four people going on this Crew Dragon fight, none of them who are astronauts. There's Jarek Isaacman, a billionaire. Um, one of the winners, Chris Dombrowski, on the right of your screen, uh, his friend actually entered into a charity drive raffle, won the seat, but didn't want to go, so he gave it to his friend Chris. <laughs> so this really is incorporating kind of the what is visioned as some of this tourist flight. Now, they will be in space for three days, so much longer than what we saw with the Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin flights, and actually very high. They'll reach uh, over 500 kilometers high. So that's actually higher than what the Mercury astronauts did in the 60s. So it's a very unique flight that is, again, the beginning or the acceleration now, really, of this private tourism market and space travel. And, well, none of them are astronauts, as you said. But I'll tell you what, for the experience of it, Brad, they're going to get some stunning views as it orbits around Earth. Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, they, for not being astronauts, they are, will be astronauts, really, for a couple of days. They will have some experience on there. As you said, they will be orbiting around the Earth multiple times in those three days. So on the average orbit around the Earth, you do about 15 to 16 orbits around the Earth per day. So they'll be getting, you know, the full experience of dozens of sunrises and sunsets, uh, the microgravity, all of that feel, the living in space uh, in a very unique way. And this is the exact same capsule that uh, NASA uses for its astronauts to get to the space station. So this is kind of the, the real deal, so to speak. You know, We've been building up to this moment of all sorts of different companies entering the space race, uh, and this is SpaceX's take. So it's definitely one to watch. And it's scheduled uh, for Wednesday, at this point, Wednesday, 10 a.m., Eastern Australian time. Now, that way may be pushed back because of weather and other issues, but it's definitely looking like it's going to happen this coming week.